Hello there guys, today I'll be unboxing the Philips Hue dimmer switch So this is how it's gonna look okay, So it's one of the accessories for Philips Hue So what this does It dims your Hue lights, you could place it anywhere, use it as a remote control You don't require any batteries, uh, sorry wires, but it's battery powered So there you go, you can use a remote, or you can use it as just a wall mounted button. Reaches from 12 meters away, 50,000 times you can click it. And it includes a battery, this is CR2450. Okay, so as you open the box, what you get is the Philips Hue. already taken out from the package for some reason so this is how it would come but the bit here would be a bit more in so it shouldn't be flashing yeah, so what you have to do is just take this off and then it starts flashing so it looks for the flips who lights and then to mount onto the wall there's some sticky pads here and that's the battery which is included already that's the magnet. Uh, these are the magnets, and the battery should be somewhere inside. I think it was. Okay. There should be nothing else in the box. Just some few booklets. Okay. So I'll quickly show you how you how you would set this up. I just quickly take the packaging off. So. So you just literally magnetically just connect, there you go. So if I show you. There you go. So that stays in magnetically. So what you need to do is just pull this tab out. There you go, so now it'll be flashing basically. So I'll show you how you'd set this up. So once the remote is flashing, so there you go, it's flashing. What you'll have to do is go to the Philips Hue app okay, so normally you probably have any lights or something so what you do is press the menu button here and then you go to settings and then my device so there you go I've got the switches so you connect a new device and then you'll choose which one so the Hue dimmer switch so it's saying to pull out the tab Check whether the orange light is blinking. If not, then you press the setup button, which is just there. If it's not blinking, but my one's blinking, as you can see. So what you have to do is press the orange ID is blinking, basically. And then you've got an option if you want to connect a Hue dimmer switch that hasn't been used with lights before, or you could use it already has been used to control lights or packaged with lights. So for my one it would be this one. So it's saying it could take up to three minutes to check. I'm still blinking. There you guys found it. So if you dimmer switch one. So what you do for this one is you choose the lights or scene that you want to control, so I do the lights, deselect all, and just do this one, just the one light, so that way is that one, and you can also rename it to whatever you like as well, so just leave as that, mine didn't save, I didn't press the save button, so then what you have to do is press save, so you know, be sending that message to the light. So now if I press the off button, there you go, this is not turned off. Oh. 
and to mount onto the wall where I'm going to mount it is just on top of this light that one there so I'll show you now so if you want to just we use the sticky tab so you want to just peel these two off Peel that off and then just peel the bottom one off as well. So, obviously, make sure that the bottom is where it says Phillips and the top there you've got a little edge here, so that's where the controller will sit. So, I'm just going to place it on top of that one. So, now I would already just leave this here. There you go. So now, press it off. Now the lights are off. Turn it on, and it's on. So then that will be all done. So you can just turn it on again. Off. And on. And you can choose your brightness. There you go, so it's getting brighter. Okay, well thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.